Welcome in, guys. It's time to break down some more European soccer action for this weekend. Now, in this weekend's show, I've created three three-game parlays across the EPL, Bundesliga, Serie A, La Liga, for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday on February 3rd, uh, 3rd 4th, and 5th. So let's get into it. Before I do, while you're listening, if you find this helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel to get more soccer picks all year round. Let's get started with the Bundesliga on Saturday. It's Darmstadt and Leverkusen. It's bottom team hosting the top team in Germany here. Darmstadt are just 2-5-12. They've been outscored 47-12. to Leverkusen, meanwhile, still undefeated at 15-4-0. They've outscored their opponents 50-14. to Of those wins and five of those goals, one of those wins, sorry, and five of those goals came in a 5-1 to one thrashing of Darmstadt back in September when these teams last played. Now, things haven't improved much for Darmstadt. They're currently winless in 12 at 0-4-8. They lost 1-0 last week to Union Berlin, and they've allowed multiple goals in four of their last six games. Leverkusen still the only team in Europe's top five leagues to not lose a game this season. But they did draw 0-0 versus Gladbach last week, and they needed late, late goals to get the wins against RB Leipzig and Augsburg in the games prior to that. This week should be much, much easier against the league's bottom team, Darmstadt, who also give up the third highest XGA and the second most shots on target. Let's kick this parlay off with a Leverkusen win. Next, sticking in Germany, it's Bochum and Augsburg. These teams are side by side in the Bundesliga table right now, Augsburg being 13th with 21 points, Bochum 14th with 20 points. It was 2 2 back in September when they last played, and it, last year, it was 3-2 Bochum when they played at home. Both teams' games average over three goals per match. Augsburg being 3.4, Bochum 3.1. Augsburg seen 18 of their 19 games this season have over 1.5 goals. Bochum have seen 16 of their 19 going over 1.5. Augsburg is the third highest both teams to score team in Germany at 74%. Bochum's are the seventh highest both teams to score. That's coming in at 63%. Augsburg kept it interesting. With Bayern last week, they still lost 3-2. to two. That means they still only have two wins across their last 10. And after not winning a road Bundesliga game in 16, they are now an equal 2-2-2 two, two, and two in their last six road games. They did win 2-1 at Gladbach in their last road game. But that's still just two road wins in their last 22. And they've allowed a goal in 23 straight road Bundesliga games. Now, in any game in the Bundesliga, whether it's home or away, they've allowed a goal in 22 straight. They've also allowed a goal in 23. They've allowed a goal in 22 straight in the Bundesliga and 23 straight overall, uh, whether that be home or away. Bochum lost last week 3-1 to one to Dortmund, and they have just one win in four, but only three losses in their last 11. Now, when they're they also have scored, though, despite maybe not getting tons of wins, they have scored in 10 of the last 12 games. And when they're playing at home, they definitely score. At home, they've scored in all, all of their home games this season, as well as in 15 straight if you go back to last year. Bets on both teams to score in their home games have gone 7-2 this season. They've also kept clean sheets in two of their last three when playing at home. Certainly potential here for both teams to score for this parlay. I'm just going to ask Bochum to get on the score sheet, something they've done in every home game this season. And we'll round out this parlay going over to Italy. And Frosinone and AC Milan, it's 13th versus 3rd here. AC Milan won 3-1 to one in December when they played in Milan. AC has just one loss in 10 games uh, across all competitions, that being in the Coppa Italia. So in the league, they've not lost recently. In their last 12 games, they've scored multiple goals in 10 of those games. They drew 2-2 with Bologna last week, but they also missed two PKs, so that game could have been even higher scoring. Recent score lines for Milan have been a 2-2 draw, a 3-2 win, a 3-1 win, a 2-1 loss, 3-0 win, and 4-1 win. So lots of goals in their games recently. AC Milan have not failed to score a goal across any of their last 16 games, but only five teams have allowed more road goals than AC Milan. However, they are the second highest road scorers as well. For Frozenoni, they had lost five straight games, 2-1, 3-1, 3-2, 4-0, and 5-0. But they then won 3-1 over Cagliari and drew Verona 1-1 last week. So they too have been seeing plenty of goals in their game. Frozenoni at home has actually been a pretty strong team this season. They're 6-2-3. They've scored 20. However, they have given up 16. In all competitions at home, they have scored in 11 of 12 games this season in Serie A. Both teams to score is also 10-1. This game should be goals. Let's look at some more goal stats between these teams. Frozenoni, they're tied for the highest over 2.5 team at 15-7. While AC Milan is 14-8. Frozenoni are the highest over 1.5 team at 20-2. AC Milan being 16-6. 
Frozenoni Games averaged the highest goals per match at 3.2 in Serie A, while AC Milan is right behind in second at 3.1. This, if you were betting it by itself, I could certainly see both teams to score. Perhaps both teams to score an over 2.5. For this parlay, I'm just going over 1.5. Two goals coming, whether it be from both teams or just two goals from one team. It doesn't matter. Let's go over 1.5. This parlay will be Leverkusen win. Bochum to score. Frozenoni AC Milan over 1.5 at minus 116. The second parlay is going to be all in England on Sunday in the EPL. Chelsea and Wolves. It was... 2-1 Wolves in December last and last year. 1-0 Wolves at home and 3-0 Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea just got routed 4-1 at Anfield to Liverpool this week and they drew a Villa 0-0 in the FA Cup last weekend. Now while they have 5 wins at 8 and 7-11, and 11, only 4 of those have come in the EPL. But at home in any competition, they are 8-2-0 in their last 10. They've scored in 9 of 10, just failing to do so last game. There's been 2 or more goals in 11 of 12 of their last home games in all competitions as well. Wolves played Manchester United Thursday, and they lost 4-3 on a late, late stoppage time winner in a wild game when they lost 4-3. Now, their record in their last eight now in all competitions is still a good one. It's 5-2-1, 27 games this season in all competition. Wolves have scored in 25 of those games. Wolves are tied for the third most both teams to score games in the EPL with 73%. I think this could be a both team to score or simply an over 1.5. Next up, Man U and West Ham United. West Ham won 2-0 at home on December 23rd. Between these teams, there's usually a lower scoring matchup with over 2.5 coming in at 5-1 in the last six in all competitions when these teams meet. Last year, it was 1-0 West Ham and 3-1 Man U at home. This year, they're right beside each other in the table right now. West Ham being 6th with 36 points. Manchester United being 7th with 35 points. West Ham's only two of 22 games this year have not seen at least two goals when playing in the EPL. Now, one of those was Thursday. One of those games where they saw two goals was Thursday when they drew a Bournemouth 1-1. They're now winless in five in all competitions, but they do have four draws in those games, so it's not all bad. In 33 games in uh, all season in all competitions, West Ham has now scored in all but just four of those games. Manchester United were involved in a wild game with Wolves, like I mentioned on Thursday. They were winning 2 nothing, then 2-1, 3-1. Wolves crawled all the way back with goals in the 85th and 95th minutes to draw 3-3. But Man U got the last laugh, scoring the 97th minute to get a 4-3 win. Now, if you include the FA Cup, Man U are now undefeated in four games. And they're 4-1-1 in their past six. But it's important to note that two of those were big wins over lower tier teams in Wigan and Newport. Still, their scores lately in all games have been 4-3, 4-2, 2-2, 2-0, 2-1, and 3-2 in their past six. Now, even Newport did get two goals against them. So this is another game where I could certainly see both teams scoring or simply over 1.5 in one way, shape, or form. And finally, one of the biggest games of the weekend in Europe. It's third hosting first with Arsenal and Liverpool, probably the game of the weekend as well, alongside Inter and Juve in Serie A. Now, Liverpool won 2-1 to one in the FA Cup at Arsenal in January, and these teams drew 1-1 in Liverpool in December. Last year, the score lines were 2-2 two -two and 3-2 to two Arsenal in the EPL. In any competition, two or more goals in six straight and in 20 of 22 as well now when these teams have matched up. So there's usually at least two goals, some way, shape, or form. Liverpool is flying. They've won 4-1 over Chelsea this week in the EPL and 5-2 over Norwich in the FA Cup last weekend. They've scored 14 goals in their last four games, and that's even coming without Salah, who's been away at the AFCON and injured. Klopp making his announcement that he'll be leaving at the end of the season does seem to have given this team a lift as they march towards a hopeful title if you're a Liverpool supporter. They're undefeated now at 8-3-0 in all comps in their last 11. They only have two losses in their last 26 across all competitions. Both of those games came away in the Europa League, so they have no EPL loss since losing against Tottenham way back in September. They've also scored in 34 of 35 across all competitions this year. Looking over to the Arsenal side of things, they are off a 2-1 and 5-0 wins, but they had been winless in four games Prior to that, that included a 2-0 home loss to Liverpool on January 24th and a 2-0 home loss to West Ham on December 28th. They had scored at home in 14 previous home games, though, across all competitions. There's been two or more goals in any Arsenal game as well in 11 of their past 12. Le broken record here, but again, this game could be a both teams to score, certainly an over 1.5. I actually do think you could 
parlay probably all three games to go both teams to score. But I also think that maybe looks too easy. Somebody will probably, uh, you know, screw that up for us. So I'm just going to go all three of these games over 1.5. Chelsea Wolves over 1.5. Man U West Ham over 1.5. Arsenal Liverpool over 1.5 for minus 136 odds. And finally, one more parlay. It's coming on Sunday and Monday. Spanning across Germany, Spain, and Italy. I'm going to start with Wolfsburg and Hoffenheim. This match usually sees goals. It was 3-1 Hoffenheim in September. It was 2-1 and 3-2 Wolfsburg last year. Now, there's been both teams to score in over 2.5 as well in each of the past eight head-to-head -head meetings between these teams. And if you were just looking at both teams to score by itself, that would, be, that would have hit in 13 of the last 14 meetings. Hoffenheim has scored in 20, they had scored in 20 straight Bundesliga games before being shut out against Bayern Munich. And while they lost 3-2 and drew 1-1 in their games since that time, and they are winless in 5 and also have just one win in 10, they have now still scored in 22 of 23 Bundesliga games this season. Both teams have scored also 14-1 and in their last 15. And Hoffenheim have the most of both teams to score games this season, hitting at 89%. Wolf, Wolfsburg, they're also not in great form after three straight 1-1 draws in their recent games. Plus, they have just one win in seven and two wins in 13. But they have scored a goal at least in five straight games, as well as in 12 of 14 games. Both teams to score has hit in each of their last four games. It's also hit at the fourth highest rate in Germany at 68%. Wolfsburg scored in 11 of their past 12 at home. Hoffenheim are actually a better team on the road than they are at home. Their record and their points, they've collected more points on the road. So I do think both teams again on the score sheet here. Let's go both teams to score in this parlay. Heading over to Spain, it's the Madrid Derby. This will already be the fourth meeting between these teams this season, that being between Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid. Atleti won 3-1 at home in La Liga in September. Real won in Saudi Arabia in 5-3 in extra time in the Supercopa on January 10th. Atleti won at home 4-2 in extra time in the Copa del Rey on January 18th. Now, Madrid has not failed to score at home versus Atleti in any of their last five games. They've also scored at home when playing against them in nine of their past 10. Since May 21st last year, Madrid has only failed to score in one game in all competitions, that being a nil-nil draw with Rayo Vallecano back in November. They only have one loss since losing to Atletico in La Liga in September, and that was the Atleti loss in the Copa del Rey last month. Otherwise, Real Madrid is 21-3-1 in their last 25 games. Atleti has now won five straight across all competitions. So they come into this game in good form. Now, four of those games, though, did come at home. And the only road game in that time was over Granada. So, a little skewed there. They have struggled in La Liga when playing on the road. Lately, they have four losses prior to that Granada win, where they were outscored 9-4 against Girona, Bilbao, Barca, and Las Palmas. I think one way or another here, Madrid's getting on the score sheet. They usually always score, even if they leave it late. So we'll just ask Madrid to score. And we'll head over to Monday. There's one game in Syria on Monday. It's Roma and Cagliari. This is fifth Roma hosting 18th Cagliari. Roma won 4-1 in October, and they won 1-0 and 2-1 last year. Now, new Roma head coach Daniela De Rossi has led them to wins over Verona 2-1 and Salernitana 2-1 as well. These are two easy opponents, though, but they're going to get another easy opponent here, at least on paper. Cagliari has just one win in eight. They lost 2-1 to one and 3-1 to one in their last two games. They've allowed a goal in 19 of their past 20 games. They're 0-3-8 on the road this season in Serie A, and they've been outscored 20-7 to seven on their travels. This should be a Roma win. You could easily parlay just a Roma win, or maybe even Roma to win by two if you wanted a straight bet. At home, they are undefeated. In 13 in all competitions, and they're 11 2 0. And they've outscored their opponents 32 to 6. I just want something to get this parlay up to even money, though. So I'm, all I'm going to do is ask for Roma to get one goal in this parlay. But like I said, you certainly could go Roma to win. That looks like a good one as well. So this parlay will be Roma to score, Madrid to score, and Wolfsburg and Hoffenheim, both teams to score. I got that to come in at minus 107 odds. That will wrap up all my soccer picks. This weekend across Europe, I'll leave a summary of the picks at the end of this video. Be sure to check out this channel and subscribe for more soccer picks, including more Africa Cup of Nations picks in the quarterfinals this weekend. Now, whatever you're betting this weekend, good luck with all of your soccer picks.